All right, Shalom. Start off by giving all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashom, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashom, Rechav Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of GMS. And want to say peace and blessing uh, to all the sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word and truth, faith, and sincerity. Okay. Uh, this lesson is going to be uh, about the uh, pastors that are out there filling their bellies, man. The shepherds of Israel that are out there filling their own bellies, okay? And not feeding the flock, okay? All right? Uh, but they're feeding their own selves, greedy dogs, okay? And um, the scriptures tell us to speak against these pastors, okay? The Lord told Ezekiel straight up to prophesy against them, okay? And we, we come in that same stead. So we have to do the same thing. All right. We have to prophesy against them. This is this is this is also part of this work. Okay. To uh to to bring out what the scriptures say about those false shepherds, all right, that lead our people astray. All right. And and it really all boil down to filthy lucre sake, man, to get to get that 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 purse, that Judas purse, okay, to get the payoff, okay, which you're not gonna receive a crown of glory, uh, a incorruptible crown, okay. You already receiving your consolation, okay, which is a temporal consolation is wicked, okay, and, and unless that whoever they may be repent, okay. Ask the Most High for forgiveness if you forgive him and, and pardon him. You know, if it be his will, then so be it. If not, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So let's get some scriptures. We get right into it. And I'm going to start in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It say, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, Okay. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God unto the shepherds. All right. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Okay. And there's an explanation point at the end of that sentence. So the Most High is saying, Woe be to the shepherds. Woe is destruction, man. Okay. To the shepherds, <clears throat> Salakia, of Israel that do feed themselves. Okay? Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ain't that what the Lord said? If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay? Willingly, not by constraint. Matter of fact, we're going to get that. Okay? Willingly. Okay? Not for filthy, filthy lucre's sake. All right? And I'm focusing mainly on guys that know they are Israelites, okay? That are really in this thing just to 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 uh, make merchandise of it, man, okay? The scriptures say, buy the truth, sell it not, all right? But they, they, they some of them same ones that was exchanging in the temple, man, when the Lord came in there with, with the, uh, uh, the 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 cord uh the uh the whip let me just say that he had made a, a cord a, a cord a scourge I forgot how his how his words I don't want to mess it up too bad but basically like the cat and nine tails okay he came in there with the whip he made a, a small uh cord to go in there and whoop him man okay or he made a cord okay to go in there and 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 beat them that was selling and, and buying in in the temple, man. Okay? He said, you turned my father's house into a house of merchandise, man. Okay? And the, the men of the Lord make up the temple now. Okay? You know you're not that the, the, uh, the kingdom of heaven dwell within you. Okay? So, uh, 
We read this one more time. Ezekiel 34 and 2, son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat and clothe, and ye clothe you with, with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. You see, it's all about making money, okay? Making this thing a thing of merchandise, man, okay? And the guys that are out there doing this, the scripture is telling you what thus said the Lord, man. Woe be unto you, destruction unto you, man, okay? So let's get another scripture, all right? So let's go to Isaiah <clears throat> chapter 56. I'm going to start at verse 10, just as soon as I can get there, all right? So this is Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. It says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant, meaning they can't see, and they ignore what's in front of them, okay? Because a lot of these guys, they do know the right way, but they ignore it, man, Okay? They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, meaning they can't give warning, man. They ain't giving warning to our people. They not telling our people the microchip is the mark of the beast, okay? A lot of them ain't even, they, you got some of them that's saying Jacob's trouble ain't, we, we not going to even go through that, okay? So that's that's going off. You not bark, you can't bark. You can't give warning, man. Sleeping, lying down, loving the slumber. Yay. They are greedy dogs. When you look in the margin, it says strong of appetite. They just can't quit devouring our people's pockets. Okay? And whatever it may be for their gain. All right? They say, yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain, from his quarter. All right. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day. And much more abundant. Okay? So they just doing it to get it, man. Alright? So let's go from there. Let's go to First Peter. Okay? Because the Most High is against this. He's against these things, man. Freely feed the flock. Okay? In truth and sincerity. Okay? Willingly, not by constraint, okay? Not for your uh, temporal gain. We ultimately are doing it as a commandment and, and to receive a crown <clears throat> of glory, man, okay? That's what this is about. Edifying the elect, okay? To receive that crown of glory. Me personally, I would... I. I couldn't even imagine, but that's what I want to, to for the Lord to place a crown on my head, man. I want to be one of them faithful servants. And that's how men of the Lord, that's the mind frame the men of the Lord should be in, man. Okay? Wanting to receive that incorruptible crown, that crown of everlasting life. Okay? To be part of that royal priesthood, man. Okay? Kings, okay. Um, where we going? First Peter, chapter five. All right, let's get that. Just hit them, and then move to the next one. All right, precept upon precept. So this is First Peter, chapter five, and I'm gonna start at verse one. It say, the elders which are among you I exhort, 
whom am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Okay. Feed the flock of the heavenly father, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre. Okay? That funky money, man. Okay? That funky money. It say, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over the heavenly father's heritage, okay? Some kind of damn tyrant, man. You know, it was a brother that had put up a lesson a while back, a few months back. It was like, I think the title of it was, are you a leader or are you a boss? A leader is going to be like, say for instance, the movie 300, like King Leonidas was, man. That's a leader. He's out in the front. He's leading the charge. That's a leader. He's going to do whatever he asks you to do. He's willing to do it. Okay? And has has done it. Okay? Had, and has set that, set that example. Okay? Which is what we're supposed to be doing. Being in samples. Okay? Of how, how, how to be, how to walk in this truth, man. How to be a leader, okay? Come on, brothers. This is the way. Let's let's go. This way. Come on, brothers. Out in the front, not sitting in the back getting pulled on a cart with a whip in their hand, man. Okay? Like Xerxes was. Getting carried around. You know, cracking whips. All the way to the back, playing the back, man. While everybody else go up, go up to the front line. Nah, oh, man. That's whack. Okay? Are you a leader or a boss? Okay? Be a leader. Not a damn tyrant, man. It says neither <clears throat> as being lords. Okay? You got to think about the, in this lower cap, it's lower, uh, is is lowercase l o r d s, all right? You think of a lord as somebody that's over something. Like if you stay at apartments, you have a landlord. If you rent a house, you got a landlord. Okay, that's the guy you gotta go to. Well, you know we got a problem on the east lawn. You know I got a leak back there. I need something done. You gotta go to him. When your rent is time to get paid, that's who you gotta go to. Okay, cause they the lord over that property okay it say this is uh first peter five and three neither as being lords over the heavenly father's heritage okay this is the lord's heritage israel man okay but being in samples to the flock how to be this is this is what we should be trying to be brothers leaders Okay, let me get in the forefront. Let me teach and show you. I'm going to speak out in the forefront, man. Not in the back, cracking a whip. That's lording, man. Okay, wanting everything, you know, you. I want it like this. I always thinking you right. Every man ain't always right. Okay. Um, uh, verse four, 1 Peter five and four, it says, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, talking about Yahweh Shai, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. That's what we st should be striving for instead of an incorruptible crown, man. Because when the Lord returned, you don't want him to say, <laughs> uh, you was giving you was giving my my church, you was giving the, my body hell, man. You was giving my, my, my men hell. Okay? I don't know you. You just a tyrant, a, a, a lord and ass nigga. 
that ain't what you want, man. And don't think it's just going to be the Lord is going to be issuing that judgment. He's going to get to you and be like, I didn't know you. You're going to get put to death. Okay? It say, verse 5, it says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another. You see? And be clothed with humility. And the higher up, the more humble you should be. It says, For the heavenly Father resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Okay? <clears throat> so, you can pretty much fill a guy out <clears throat> and, and see, is this is this a humble man? Or is he a lord? Is he a tyrant? It, what is he doing this for? Is he doing it out of sincerity to, 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 to be over the Lord's flock and do this in sincerity and truth and be a true leader? Or is he just out for greedy gain? You know, whatever it may be, vanity, money, whatever, okay? You can pretty much fill the guy out, okay? But woe to them pastors that do 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 wickedness, man. That that are only about filling their belly. Okay? Matter of fact, but let me get this one scripture in Micah, the third chapter. I'm gonna give one more scripture after that. Alright. This is Micah chapter 3 <clears throat> and verse 11. It says that his of judge for reward. <clears throat> Salakia. Okay. The his of judge for reward. And the priests thereof teach for hire. And the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. You see? And some of them had that mind frame, man. Most I ain't gonna do me nothing. I I've been getting away with it this long. Number one, you really you playing out your part in the story, man. Okay. And ultimately, it like the scriptures say, just because sentence against a, a a wicked deed is not executed speedily, that don't mean judgment ain't gonna come. You can bet your bottom dollar it's gonna come. Okay. But where you wanna be in this thing? Where do we? Where should we be as men of the Lord in this thing? Okay? We should be the one that want to be that leader, not that false pastor, man. Okay? So let's get one more scripture and we'll end it here. If the spirits say the same. Okay? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1. 23, I'm sorry. So like it. Jeremiah 23 and verse 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Said the Lord, Yahweh, okay? Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, okay? So that's what you got to look forward to if, you know, those men, that's what they have to look forward to, okay? We should be striving to be righteous leaders, man, okay? Not uh, lords and bosses and guys that's after, you know, trying to make this filthy lucre, okay? So that's it, okay? Lord willing, it was edification in this lesson, all right? Just straight to the point, basic scriptures, you know? As always, you know, uh... Again, I'm going to give all praise, honey, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Raha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of GMS. And I want to say uh, peace and blessings to the brothers out there pushing this word, truth, sincerity, and faith. All right. And to the next one, a hey, Shalom.